When you walk up to the vehicle with the key, it has the full proximity key system. But when you walk up to the vehicle, it senses the key because it'll allow you access to the vehicle, but it doesn't turn on any exterior lights or interior lights. When you hit the unlock button, it will turn on the interior lights, but still we don't have exterior lights on. When the vehicle's running, we can toggle on and off the exterior lights. So it has the ability to turn off all the exterior lights when the vehicle's running. But if you try to drive the vehicle and move it, it will turn on the lights again. Now I have the parking lights on and the parking lights are these very bright LED daytime running strips here on the front. And they're pretty bright. I don't think they're quite bright enough to be mistaken for headlights, uh, but they are quite bright. Very impressive though. And then there's a small amber side marker here on the side of the vehicle. The tail lights wrap around the side of the vehicle serving as a side marker and they are red. Camera kind of makes them look orange, but they are a nice deep red, nice and bright and stylish. Kind of has these little swoopy swoop up lines here. And then this kind of extends up, looks pretty cool. The tag light's on and it illuminates the ground a little bit, serving as an approach light. Turn signal here in the front basically tapes, takes that white light and adds light to it, make it makes it brighter and turns it amber. So that's the turn signal. Uh, so it's, it's bright enough, it's pretty bright and looks pretty good. Nice and sharp, you can see it from a distance for sure. And it's large since it's all the way across there, uh, it's a, it gives you a nice, view from a distance it's not like a little tiny light or anything turn signal indicator here on the side mirror it's not super bright not bright at all here in the front it's amber in color you can see it barely from the front the side uh, but it is more visible here from the back it's a little bit brighter and then the turn signal here in the back is a standard halogen type bulb um, in amber in color though so even though it's not it's not LED, it is amber, and that pleases a lot of people to see amber turn signals here in the back, even though it's not an LED. This is what those daytime run lights look like. Now I turn on the headlights. You can see, probably not gonna mistake those as headlights, but it's possible, I suppose. So the low beams are a multiple reflector system. Uh, so you can see here on the outer portion are these two uh, reflector housing. It's actually multiple ref uh, LEDs in each reflectors, uh, each one of those housings here. And then the center part illuminates when you turn on the high beams. So it's just like the Honda Civic. It uh, has the same headlights, basically. The cutoff for the low beams is about... Looks like the left one is not adjusted properly with the right one. Uh, but there, this left one is actually about three feet off the ground as I move down uh, to about two and a half feet, then they're both shine on the camera. So yeah, it looks like these headlights are a little bit out of adjustment here. Yep, uh, as soon as I move down, this one's shining on the camera first, then the second one. So now let's look at the high beams and we're gonna look at them going down the road. Uh, but the high beams basically add an additional reflector. So now all three separate LED housings are now illuminated. So it's a just a full spectrum of light here. So hopefully um, that that one is a little bit out of alignment it won't make too much of a difference when we're looking at it. Uh, but it is a adding light with the high beams, not just repositioning an existing light like some vehicles. The cargo area actually has two lights, two fairly bright lights. They're LEDs, one on each side. You can see that. And typically this would be really good. And in the center, it is fairly well, fairly good. But you'll notice that there's these dark spots that just happens to be right where a little cubby is, where you would need that extra, some light to see down in that little area. Uh, but it's basically completely dark. It's not able to get into that area. So if this, if these lights were, you know, maybe angled a little bit down or, you know, just kind of have the lens kind of extend down under here as well. So get some of this light in these pockets, uh, that would help out a lot. As it is, as long as you have something in the middle, 
that you need to look at, then you're fine. Uh, but in those little corner pockets, basically, you're, it's just dark and these aren't helping at all. There is a backlit button up here for lowering uh, the power lift gate. The inside of the back door has no lights whatsoever except for the power window. So these lights, these little pockets here, completely dark, no lights whatsoever. And then we have the only light here in the back is coming here from the center. And it's fairly bright, um, so it's, it's pretty good there in the center. And even you can see fairly well in the, in the floorboard as well. Then there's two USB ports that are backlit eliminated here. Once again, no puddle lights, no approach lights, nothing uh, that shines on the ground. And the pockets are completely dark here, here. There is a light here in the handle. And then you have the backlit buttons here and here. So all the buttons are backlit, which is nice. There's a tiny bit of floorboard illumination. We'll look at that in a second. It's just, it's barely noticeable, but there is some there. The lights here on the front come from these two lights here in the center. Basically, these two reading lights turn on. And you have the backlight there. And it does a decent job of, once again, illuminating the center of the area. Not so much the little crevices and pockets and stuff. So now I have the interior lights on. And with the black interior, it doesn't really help out with the light reflection and stuff like that. Um, but we can kind of generally see in the center of the vehicle here in this area. You can turn off the interior lights and we're left with the backlit buttons here. And you notice it's not completely dark right now because there is a lot of dark areas in this vehicle. So if there was no light outside, then you wouldn't be able to see anything in here. Um, well, just to show you the glove compartment is completely dark. And even with this light from coming from the sky, um, you still have trouble seeing it. This compartment here is completely dark. So there's no light in there. You have to turn on the interior lights. Uh, that helps out a lot, but there's still quite a bit of darkness in there. Cup holders are dark. Uh, there is some light here uh, where the charger is. So that's nice, a little bit of light there. There is some floorboard illumination. So hopefully you can see my foot there. And these are all adjusted. The brightness can be adjusted here on the screen. You can see it right there uh, using the scroll wheel, which is backlit. Uh, the buttons around it are backlit anyway. So we can go ahead and cycle through the brightness here. All the way down is almost completely dark. And that also adjusts the brightness in the floorboard as well. So all these are controlled. That's the highest brightness, a little bit too bright. And then this is... Uh, Basically, before you snap to that highest brightness, this is perfect for me. Uh, the rest of it's a little bit too dim. But you will have to go into the menu system here to adjust the brightness. It's not like it's something easy to just turn a knob or whatever. So you, as you're driving or whatever, you don't want to do it. You really need to do it before you leave. Um, but as you drive, the brightness levels change outside. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you have to go to a go into a sub menu on the screen and find it and then adjust it. There is a light uh, that is has an auto dim rear view mirror and there's a light showing you where the auto dim part is. And then right above that, we do have the, the backlit buttons here. Just turn on the interior lights, turn them off or have them turn on with the door. Uh, there's also this little light right here. You can see two of them and they kind of illuminate my hand a little bit and they kind of illuminate this area. Just kind of give you a little bit of moonlight there in the center which is if it's super dark, it does help out a lot having that light, uh, but it's not super bright. So it's just good. It is good to have those. I really do like vehicles that have those little lights there. All right, so the visors in this trim does have a light in a, with the mirror. So here's the headlight pattern on some bushes. And you can see there's a little bit of jaggedness up close. Now, Typically, uh, headlights like the, these will have a little shadow on the oncoming lane to kind of help avoid blinding other drivers. And sometimes that jaggedness uh, is for to accommodate that. Now 
Now I have the automatic high beams turned on and we'll see how they work. Okay, so on the road, on the oncoming lane, yeah, you can see that the there is a little bit of a shadow there on the oncoming lane. Um, but as far as that that passenger side lens, it just seems like it is just a little bit too high uh, for this vehicle. So it will need to be adjusted down a little bit is what it looks like. But it's not a huge, huge change. It's just slightly higher. Okay, so the automatic high beams decided to turn on and then off again. Okay, so there we go, we got some high beams. And yeah, uh, with the addition of the light, so there's actually three separate light housing reflectors uh, on each side, so there'd be six. So yeah, it's from a distance, it, it's able to overlap those lights well enough to where it's not patchy on the road. I see the trees in the distance, I see on the side of the road good. Uh, the, the, the distance on the road is fairly, fairly good. Um, so these are pretty decent headlights. I think these are probably, probably a little bit above average as far as visibility on this road. Having that, I think what helps out so much on the high beams is that, that additional light there in the center. Uh, other vehicles tend to just have the same amount of light especially they'll use a single projector and they'll try to just refocus that same same light for their high beams and it just doesn't seem like enough light this one has enough light already on low beams uh it's pretty good and then when you go to high beams that it, that really bright light there in the center on each side just really uh, gives you good visibility overall